stands for Business 20, is one of the main forums leading to G20. This business forum collects and gathers all business leaders from around the globe to talk about the current economic state of the globe. It's very important, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic, where the world economic state is at stake and currently economic recovery has taken the center stage of the global's attention. But this year's B20 summit comes with a twist not only focusing on the economic recovery and economic growth, it also highlights the decarbonizing industry. It takes a very important stand on how the industries and companies are contributing in delivering the energy transitions around the globe. This year's B20 Summit, hosted by the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce, or Kamar Dagang Indonesia, Kadin, and we got a chance to sit down with the chairman of Kadin, Mr. Arshad Rashid. Thank you so much, Pa Arshad, for your time for us to be able to sit down with C today on this very special occasion. So first of all, we know that B20 Summit is a representation of global business community with a mandate to deliver policy recommendations that, of course, have to align with uh, the three main pillars of the G20 this year, which are health infrastructure, sustainable energy, and digital transformation. So what are the recommendations from the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce through B20 that you would like to express in this summit? Uh, first of all, thank you. Thank you, and thank you for supporting B20. And this is part of the Gotong Royong. Yeah, it's right? our pleasure. Uh, so this is a very important G20, B20, right? Number one is because we are the first emerging country to be the presidents of the G20. That's very important, okay? So that's why it is important for us as the first emerging country to actually voice out the conversation that needs to be, that, that the world needs to have, which is what? which is small, medium enterprises. There were already conversation about it, but not as a foundation. So that you mentioned about the three agendas, mm -hmm. right? So we got, I mean, when we have a discussion, the discussion is not only for that three agenda. The discussion is, it have so, um, many discussion that is actually discussed uh, in the B20 for the recommendation of the policies. But from Indonesia perspective, the main agenda that we want to uh, to be the conversations is those three: the uh, healthcare, uh, energy transition, and the uh, digital transformation. Right, but with a foundation of small, medium enterprises. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very key, important. So then, after that, what is different also on this B20, which is very different from the GMP20 before ever, right? Is this. You know, our president, Bapak Joko Widodo, is a man of action. Okay. So what he says, is, hey, let's not just talk about recommendation, let's talk about policies. Mm -hmm. What's the action? Action, action, action. So what we're saying, okay, Pa, besides policy recommendation, what is more important is what the action is, mm -hmm. what we say, legacies. And then more than that again, we want to show the world there's, there are projects that can be scaled up, can be then be, you know, exported to all other countries beyond the G20, okay? So with that, the recommendation is more important, it's not really the recommendation itself, but the legacies, okay? Let's take an example from these three agenda. Number one is the healthcare, okay? So what we are doing is we create one legacy, we call it one shot. One shot. One shot, okay? What is it? This is a cooperation, collaboration between us, between Kadim, that's the Chamber of Commerce of Industry in Indonesia, with uh, Tony Blair's Institute, okay? Where we say, Tony Blair, you know, you be our voice mm -hmm. together. We create, how's this? What is this one shot? If you remember, you know, sometimes people tend to forget, you know, very easy to forget, you know, that we are still in a pandemic. Yeah. You know, we have this COVID-19, right? At that point of time, what happened? What happened in vaccination? 
we were very lucky, very fortunate, and very good that we, you know, what we have done with vaccination, we have able to secure a lot of vaccines and able to actually do the vaccination mm -hmm. through Gotong Royong with all the work of efforts of everyone in Indonesia and successful. Okay? So, but the thing is vaccination, where the rich countries or the advanced countries, easy. They have capital, they have the technology, they have the access to vaccines, they can produce vaccines. How about the emerging? How about the poor countries? So this is where we say, okay, this is very aligned to the G, because in G, you will see that there is a conversation in regards to that, but here is the actions. So one shot, okay, how do we create these vaccination centers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Indonesia, but for the world. How we can de democratize this? How can we produce so that all can be? And vaccines, you're not talking about only COVID-19, but tuberculosis and other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the movement. Okay, that's number one on legacies from healthcare. Second, from the energy transition. We have a legacy where we create, what we created is actually carbon center of excellence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is where we actually cut in and working with, uh, the, here we work with Bloomberg to actually house this, right? And how do we continue this? And to make sure what this carbon uh, center of excellence is to make sure that we can be the first Indonesia is birthed here because at the end of the day you know, we have a lot of carbon footprints mm -hmm. we have a lot of forests and here we as Indonesia are leading in sustainability also we are doing a lot of things you know take an example that we created sustainability award for example you know between uh, the Cardin and the chambers of Europe chambers we why we create you know there are 700 companies yeah small medium you know, we award them. And then there's a lot of them are doing business of sustainability, for example. So this is the part that we say, we want to be the carbon center of excellence and we start this and let's continue this discussion, okay? Then the third one, which is then the digital transformation, right? The legacies comes with big two legacies here. One for the SME perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what? We create a platform, what we call Wiki Entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. right? This is actually birth in Kadin for Indonesia. We call it Wiki Wira Usaha, which is a platform for small medium enterprises to meet with large corporation, but at the same time for the SMEs to be able to be how to become, you know, you want to be entrepreneurs, how to upgrade yourself and everything from small to medium, you know, from uh, micro to small. This is the platform, right? And now we are using this platform. We actually bring this to the level of the G20s. Right, and we now we are doing a pilot already, already with Japan. Mm -hmm. So now there will be a linkage between small medium enter enterprises in Japan with Indonesia, right? And this is the start. We are already in process with India now to to be you know to have this linkage, and we want to have all these G's mm -hmm. linkage. But besides, besides that, beyond that, because we're going to bring this all all, all this conversation to ASEAN, because Indonesia is going to chair ASEAN, yeah. right? So that is uh, from the digital transformation perspective that we bring as legacies. The other one from this digital transformation is actually from the woman perspective, hmm. all right? This is like when we talk about woman leadership. This is where woman empowerment. Mm -hmm. That's why if you look at, you know, the chairperson of Indonesia? Yes. Is Ibu Shinta. Yes. She's a woman. Yes. She's the leader, right? So this is to show Indonesia is there too, right? And that is we work this also to uh, to be able to continue this so that that woman have equal uh, treatments that women are given the opportunities mm -hmm. you know there's no difference between men and women right so this is the part is birth also in Indonesia okay and but the most important is that we can say that this is all good but if it's not continuation then it's you know it's not good so what, what we did is we went to India as an example because India is the next host, yeah? the mm -hmm. next presidency of G20 is India. Yeah. And of course the, there is, so I met with the, the Sherpa there, I met with the, uh, we met with Sherpa, we met with the uh, business community of India, the one who's going to be hosting that, right? And we say, hey, please, let's continue this, the voice of so-called uh, uh, emerging countries. Mm -hmm. And very fortunate and very happy, they say yes but we will add more. Yes, please. Yeah. 
had more. But the voice of the emerging country continues. Mm -hmm. And then now we are talking to Brazil because the next after India is Brazil. Wow, another two steps ahead. Another emerging country. After that, South Africa, another emerging country. So it continues. Mm -hmm. So the voice continues, the legacy continues for the purpose of the world. Okay. Right. So you mentioned SMEs as the foundation. Yes. Why SMEs? Why? Because SME clearly, for example, in Indonesia, contribute 67% to the nation economy, contribute more than 90% of the job creation in Indonesia. Employment is clear. So SME is the foundation of economy of Indonesia and also similar to other countries, for sure. Right. So. I attended your press conference with Pak Luhut Binsar Panjaitan earlier My today. <laughs> your mentor, okay. I have a lot of mentors, so one of them mentors. One of them is but, him. But, but. So during that discussion, you you mentioned that Kadin and the government is working closely <coughs> in drawing the roadmap towards mm. net zero emission 2060. Mm. So what are the steps mm. in reaching that goal and how does Kadin contribute to that? First, before the step, is the spirit, okay. right? Before the spirit is the value, right? So what we are doing together is from the value of Gotong Royong, mm -hmm. first. You know, I interpreted it in English, Gotong Royong, as inclusive collaboration. Inclusive collaboration. Okay, Gotong Royong. So here is clearly the action of this Gotong Royong. The government? and as the presentation of the business work together, okay? As what we call Indonesia Incorporation. Mm -hmm. Indonesia Incorporated. Even by Jokowi mentioned this, Indonesia Incorporated. This working together, okay? Because it takes two to tango. You cannot just have the government. You have to have the private sectors and the businesses to actually work together. Mm -hmm. And here it's not large corporation all the way to micros, mm -hmm. right? So that is, that's where, how we work together. Now, we, do it. For example, on the COP26, we went together and we make a statement together that net zero emission 2060 It's not just the government, mm -hmm. but the business. Mm -hmm. And thus, after COP26, when we came back, we created what we call Cadin Net Zero Hub. Okay. Okay. And today we are doing what we call the Net Zero Hub yeah. Uh, yeah, forum. Why? is this birth of this because first of all we want to make sure the awareness that all Indonesian companies from large to, to small all aware of this 2060 but more than aware then this is a place a platform where you can actually learn from each other and this is also the platform where you can learn how to measure mm -hmm. this net zero right and this is where we we can actually they meet together between the funders and the investors and all the technology providers and all, right? And this is where we say, okay, this is how to bring about this. And we bring in companies to do pledges mm -hmm. of total net zero. Yeah, that's why we've signed MOU with IDX to create an index and OJK also, okay. right? And this, we are bringing in all the sectors. And then we say, okay, we need to create a roadmap. Mm -hmm. Okay, why we need a roadmap? Because every sector has different challenges. Mm -hmm. So every sector will have a different roadmap. And more than that, there is also a subset of this, okay, which is for what? For the large corporation, for the medium corporation, for the uh, small corporation, also different. So, so that's we need, where Kadin steps yes, in. Yes, this is where we step in and we work with all. Not only Kadin, this is Gotok Royong. We'll okay. bring in the associations. Yes. Because the associations is the one who understand the sectors. And they are the one who can help us to define this, this roadmap. And we need to incorporate all of this to become one. And that become Indonesia, you know, Merah Putih roadmap. Because, you know, we cannot be dictated yeah. by other countries. We have to have our own plan. The most important that we have the same goal. We want to have creating a net zero emission. And that's where the collaboration takes place. That's voice. where inclusive collaboration. Inclusive collaboration. Because we cannot leave behind anybody, even the ultra and micro 
uh, small businesses and medium okay. businesses. You can. Thank you so much, pa Arshad, for your time for such an insightful and a hopeful future for Indonesia. And that's our talk right here at B20 Summit from Nusa Dua Bali.